Hello everybody, how's it going? Um, Ray Reese here, just got done uh, deadlifting. Um, first time back in, uh, you know, six months. And just started up really light, just went for 20 minutes. Um, you know, normally I would be working out with, you know, X amount of weight. And I was like, went in and instead of even doing say, well, yeah, I did, I did about a quarter of um, the weight that I would normally have been using. And just, you know, working on that range of motion, working on the mechanics, working on just getting here at all. Um, so it went well, it went well. Um, back feels okay. Um, and just had to, you know, think of it as a, uh, a stretching session with resistance. Um, but yeah, you know, doing good, um, getting some good sleep, getting some good sleep and, uh, got a little more energy. I am, it's weird cause I have more energy, but I'm also way more exhausted cause my body is just sore and, um, healing and whatnot. But um, on to today's topic, I want to give a shout out to my boy uh, Juan Loney for um, suggesting uh, this topic and or um, asking about it. Um, it's regarding um, ketogenic um, Okay, yeah, it's the ketogenic diet. <clears throat> um, and uh, he asked about this, and I told him that I, I didn't really know much about it, um, but I would look it up. Um, and, you know, based on what information I found, given, you know, given opinion. Um, in general, for me, I try to stay away from such and such diet. Like if it has a name for it, mm, I, it already sort of raises some flags. But the, the short version, do I recommend the ketogenic diet? Um, no, but there's, there's, there's more to it than just that. More than just, um, you know, Ray Reese's opinion. Um, from what I, from what I'm looking at, the short version of what what is keto, is it's a it's a low carb, high fat diet designed to basically trick the body into burning more fat by restricting the carbs. Which so like this sounds a little bit like um, the Atkins diet, which I believe was. It was low carb, high protein. In general, regardless of what you name it, regardless of what year, decade it is, regardless of how many letters um, somebody has after their name when proposing a new diet, um, you're, the science behind unwanted fat loss uh, doesn't change and it, it hasn't changed since humans were a thing. Um, you need carbs, proteins, and fats for fuels. I can, I'm gonna do a whole thing on that later, but um, you need carbs, proteins, and fats for fuel. They are not bad. They are fuel. What is bad is, is excess. If you get too much of a thing, it turns into fat. But your body needs all three. Your body needs carbs for short-term explosive power. Uh, your body needs fats for long-term uh, energy. It's what your body burns at night when you're asleep to, to keep you alive and functioning. Um, and your body needs proteins to um, recover 
and repair your muscles after a workout or you know after a, a long hard day um, but re restricting restricting carbs is sort of it's just it, it it's not restricting carbs restricting unhealthy carbs res restricting simple carbs that should be part of anybody's diet because here's the thing fruits and vegetables fruits and vegetables are carbs fruits and that's what that's what they do that's what their purpose is and they have nutrients um but also uh bread pasta white rice and those sorts of just all white bleached sort of uh things are they have carbs as well but they're simple carbs the, the short version is stuff with more nutrients and vitamins and stuff and fiber <coughs> um takes takes longer to go through your body because that fiber and all those nutrients sl slowed your um, your body slows it down to pick at it to see what's happening and it uses it gathers that stuff for fuel there's there's more time for the the sugar there's more time for the carbs that are in fruits and vegetables to get used for fuel it doesn't hit your system in one shot unlike so a simple thing like candy or soda it's sugar already not already but it doesn't have nearly as many nutrients. It doesn't have nearly as much fiber. So it's gonna shoot through your system. And if you haven't turned it into fuel, if you're not like on the court playing volleyball at that second, if you're not about to uh, run a track meet or a soccer um, game or whatever, you're not about to do any sort of high energy, you know, swimming. Like Michael Phelps has, you know, was eating like a high carb, you know, 10,000 calorie diet, but he was also burning like, you know, uh, 12,000 calories a day because he was an Olympian. Um, but carbs aren't bad. Different types of carbs are bad. Excess carbs are bad, but it's, it's very, very difficult to get excess carbs from fruits and vegetables. So again regardless of the um regardless of the diet you don't want simple sugars in there you don't want to be loaded up so that doesn't need that doesn't need a brand name or a spokesperson for that you just cut that out <laughs> um and as far as like the high fat portion that doesn't make any sense like none of this like i get it but there's there's no there's no advantage to doing a keto diet over just doing a regular diet. It's just it's it's just a more difficult way to wind up with the exact same result. Except for the fact that since you won't have carbs, you're not going to have nearly as much explosive energy. So why why do that? And this isn't um this isn't meant to be derisive or, or, um, you know, if you're on a keto diet or if you're, you know, contemplating or whatever, I'm not trying to be dismissive if this is something that you prefer and or works for you, but it's not something that would work across the board for everybody. You have to, you have to take in the fuels that you need to perform the functions and, and the work that you want to do. Um, you regardless there's and there there's no uh there's no brand name for that you take in as much protein if you're you know doing muscle building and stuff take in way more protein if you're doing high energy explosive stuff take in more carbs healthy carbs uh if you're going hiking for like hours you're going to go mountain climbing and then you're going to need like proteins fats and carbs hence trail mix that's that's why people on trails uh, consume that because it's you need that slow burning energy and fats. You need that 
high, that, that quick burning energy from the carbs, and uh, you're gonna need to repair some muscle. Um, so you need that protein. Um, so anyway, uh, thanks Juan for the question. Um, anybody else out there, if you got any questions, feel free to comment uh, on whichever medium uh, you see this video on and I'll try to get back to you. Um, I'm doing good progress, right? Progress wise, you know, day by day, getting it in. Um, yeah. And so, um, that's that, I suppose. All right. Um, have a great day. Bye-bye.